All right, well, I, as I mentioned, I'm thrilled to be here today and that you let me come into your space and present you with an award. Um, my name is Rochelle, and I'm with the Minnesota Department of Human Services, and I'm the state refugee coordinator for the state of Minnesota. And so I'm thrilled to present you with this award for the 2017 Outstanding Refugee Award for Entrepreneurship to you, uh, Sadia Sala. Uh, we started this award just this year um, in the state of Minnesota to celebrate um, the courage, the resilience, and the entrepreneurship of people who come to our state as refugees and recognize the contributions that you make to our state. Um, we know that people come here after deep hardships and that um, resettlement programs can help people start over and connect to communities um, and create a sturdy frame to build and rebuild your lives here in Minnesota. Um, and when people like you are able to reach your full potential, our state is better yep. for it. Um, we all benefit from the contributions that you guys make um, to the life of our communities and help lay a strong foundation for Minnesota's future. Uh, because we know that today's young refugees are tomorrow's workforce, civic leaders, and business owners. And you, Sadia, you serve as an example of the benefits that we as Minnesotans get from your resilience. So from what I know, you guys um, operate, is opened and operated this business here, the Hindi store, since 2015 in Marshall. And you've been contributing to the local economy since then when you opened this business. Uh, your business supports our local economy um, by providing a place where people can buy things in the community that they otherwise would have to go outside of the community to buy. And you also, we hear, uh, have given newcomers an opportunity to contribute by hiring people that maybe don't have work experience in the United States, but you give them a chance to also become good employees here. And so, with that, um, Samira Sheik of the Community Action Program here, um, in her nomination, said that you have added more to our monthly pot. Um, as I said earlier, um, people who arrive as refugees today are tomorrow's workforce, civic leaders, and business owners. And people who arrived yesterday, people like you, um, are doing those things today. So you have brought your past and your present together to help shape Minnesota's future, and we are grateful for your contributions. You are truly outstanding. Yeah. So on behalf of Commissioner Emily Piper and the Minnesota Department of Human Services, I would like to present to you with the 2017 Outstanding Refugee Award for Civic Leadership. So thank you very much. She's a great leader. All right, I guess I just to get to just get to start talking. Well, my name is uh, Rochelle King, and I'm thrilled to be here today. Uh, I manage the Resettlement Programs Office uh, at the Minnesota Department of Human Services, and I serve as the Minnesota State Refugee Coordinator. And so I am here today to present uh, a 2017 Outstanding Refugee Award for Civic Leadership to Sada Mu, your very own Sada Mu. So this award started this year by the state of Minnesota to celebrate the courage, resilience, and entrepreneurship of people who arrived as refugees and recognize their contributions to our state. People with refugee status arrive in Minnesota after deep hardships. Resettlement programs help them start their lives over and connect them to their new communities, giving them the sturdy frame that they need to create a healthy and prosperous future for themselves and their children. When they are able to reach their full potential in our communities, we all benefit by the contributions that they make to the lives of our communities. By resettling people successfully, we help to lay a strong foundation for Minnesota's future because today's young refugees, the refugees that you all serve in this school, um, are tomorrow's workforce, business owners, and civic leaders. So I'm gonna take some excerpts from the nomination that I received for Sada, for Saw. Um, because he serves as, as an example of how Minnesota benefits from the refugees who resettle here in our state. So Saw arrived in the United States as a refugee from Burma, Miramar, 
He and his family settled in the Marshall area about four years ago. When he first came to Marshall, he worked in a meat processing plant, a job that was valuable in helping him and his family build a strong, strong foundation in Marshall and begin contributing to the local economy. Since that time, he has been proactive to expand his skills to better assist Marshall residents and help connect newcomers to the Marshall community. Saul recently completed a rigorous translation interpretation course that enables him to better bridge the communication gaps, communication gaps within the greater Marshall community while newcomers are learning English. Additionally, as part of a diversity group in Marshall, he helped organize a cultural event to celebrate the diversity of the city with a message that all cultural backgrounds are welcome, no matter if you are Northern European, African, Southeast Asian, or from Central or South America. In his current role as a family connector for the Marshall Public School System, he helps families better understand the policies and procedures of the school system and works hard to make sure the families and students, the family and student entry into the realm of public education is more comfortable and understandable. And he is currently working with about 100 families to end to that goal. Ron, in his nomination, stated, I believe Saw is a sterling example of a refugee who is working hard to make everyone feel welcome and accepted. I am proud to know him. As I stated earlier, today's young refugees are tomorrow's workforce and civic leaders and business owners. And yesterday's refugees are doing those things today. Saw, you have brought your past and your present together to help shape Minnesota's future. And we are grateful for the many contributions that you've made. You truly are outstanding. So, if I can have you come up here, please. On behalf of Commissioner Emily Piper and the Minnesota Department of Human Services, I would like to present you with a 2017 Refugee Award for Civic Leadership. Thank you. And this also is a letter, Emily, um, the Commissioner Piper could not be here, but she did send a letter for you that goes with this. Yes, yeah, thanks so much to us. Yes, yes thank, I will definitely do that. That's the whole thing. Thank you. Can we say something about them? Absolutely, absolutely. You know, I'll just tell everybody that um, what, a, what a great guy Saw is. And, um, you know, it's funny when this group of teachers was walking through the hallway, I was like, hey, I got something for you after school, and they wanted to put their heads down and go the other way. And when I said it was for you, saw they all were like, whoa, we're coming, and they're here. Um, yesterday when I told the EL staff that Saw was getting this award, I I'm not kidding, and where's our EL staff? Tell me if I'm wrong, but the eyes just lit up in the room. Everybody was so happy for you. Uh, saw really cares about his families, and he cares about the people and he just works endless hours to, to do such a great job. So we're really happy to, to, to consider him a friend and, and a coworker. And uh, you know, just, just couldn't be more pleased and more happy for him. So um, I don't know if any, Tina, should I add anything else? Lou, we just know that he's a great guy and, and whatnot. So congratulations, Saw, on behalf of all of us here. Thank you, okay, thank you. so nice job, we're really happy for you. Um, I think I know I got to say something at least. But <laughs> I just just take the one and go home or go to work. So uh, uh, first, I want to say uh, Department of Human Services Resettlement Program Office for coming down here, uh, presenting me the award. I'm uh, greatly appreciated for the opportunity of receiving this award, and uh, it is so honor for me and my family, friends, co-worker and everyone in the community that I work with. And I would like to share this work with me. This is not only for myself, but there's a fir first time I told uh, Ron told me about this. This is this work I told, well, Ron, I have not done a lot in my community. So I just started working there. at that time. It was my first year. This is my second year working as a president connector and giving me a lot of opportunity to work with uh, my family and the community. So I, Ron replies, his response was, we have, a, we have so much to do and then we have a long way to go. I think I strongly agree with Ron. So 
And we thank you so much for everyone that uh, gave their time and their attendance together with Sir Brace. Together, we work hard, and then we dream big. We might live in a small community. Uh, I still remember in my mind all the time when I first arrived in Marsha, it was probably four or five uh, Crane family. You know, uh, I said that I, I wanted to be in the community, part of the community, and working because I know in the city in St. Paul we have a lot of Korean family. You know, there's a more opportunity that you can involve, do something for your people, for your group, or you can involve. But here, when I first arrived, this, I, I figured like there's not much for me to do. But now I know that <laughs> now I know that there's a there's there's an opportunity for you as, when you are ready. Things are ready for you. So um, no matter where you live. Uh, as a refugee, no matter where you, you are in up, there's a lot of great things you can do and that you can uh, contribute to your family and friends. So, but we live in a small community, small town, but we dream big, we work hard. Together, we make difference for our community. Thank you for all coming. Thank you.